Hello. Today I'm going to talk about hypokalemia. It's a beautiful day out, but we have a test, so we have to study very hard. Now, what is hypokalemia? Well, hypokalemia is less potassium levels in the blood. So, specifically, it's going to be less than 3.5 mq per liter. 3.5. Now, uh, who's at risk for this? Who's at risk for hypokalemia? Well, we can remember it by CATS, which starts with K. K is for um, potassium, so remember that. So, someone who's not, take, who's not eating a lot of potassium, who has a poor diet of potassium, could get hypokalemia. Also, alkalosis. If you can see, um, when a person gets uh, nasogastric suctioning, they could get hypokalosis, and that can cause hypokalemia. Also, diuretics, such as Lasix, which are potassium-losing diuretics. And S is for steroids, such as prednisone and suctioning, like we said. Now, what does a person that doesn't have potassium look like? We can remember it by ASIC Walt. So, A. A stands for um, alkalosis, like we said. S is for shallow respirations. What happens in hypoglemia is that everything pretty much goes to sleep. So, the lungs can't work as well to take deep breaths. So, you're going to have a person having shallow respirations. I is for irritability. As you can see, this guy is he's not happy right now. And C is for confusion and drowsiness. Uh, w is for weakness. We can see that the muscles are weak. Everything, like we said, everything goes to sleep. Um, a is for arrhythmias. Their heart, their heart is not very well right now. And L is for lethargy. So he's just very tired, very lost. And T is for thready pulse. Now, because there's thready pulse, uh, the heart is going to have to pump blood faster so that the oxy oxygen can get to the all the tissues of the body. And also, uh, decreased uh, deep tendon reflex. That's, that's what happens too because everything, everything is decreased. Also, uh, besides acid walt, we can remember it by suction. Why suction? Because a person can get hypokalemia thanks to uh, NG suctioning. Now, S starts for skeletal muscle weakness. As we can see here, he's very weak. U is for U waves, which the heart is it's not really well right now. C is for constipation. So, because everything goes to sleep, um, the intestines are also uh, not working a lot. So, because of that, there might be uh, constipation. Now, I is for irregular heartbeat, and the heart rate is going to be very irregular. O is for orthostatic hypotension. Because the heart is not working very well, there's going to be hypostatic hypotension. Um, and then N is for numbness. Also, we have to watch for digitalis toxicity in patients. Now, what can we do as nurses to take care of these patients? Well, it's very important that we remember to monitor their heart and make sure that uh, it's right. And also, we have to give them uh, potassium, but it has to be slowly. Otherwise, they could get a uh, cardiac arrest, and that's very, very dangerous. And uh, remember to give them a lot of bananas and potatoes. That's going to help. And just teach them about how important it is to get potassium every day. So that's it. I'm Belen Baigoria, a student from RCC College from nursing.